Hello, this is Dr. Sophie Liu at the operation room. Today, I'm going to do a small but interesting study on in vitro lipolysis. In Taiwan, many patients ask me, how is the efficacy and treatment response with lipolysis agents we have in Taiwan? In Taiwan, we have off-label use of some lipolysis agents, such as phospholipid and carnitine. Today, I'm going to do an experiment with this agent. So we have the oxycholic acid group. We call it Bekaira in Taiwan, Canada, and other countries. But we call it Kaibela in the United States. And this is phospholipid group, carnitine group, phospholipid plus carnitine group. And we also have normal saline as a comparison. Now uh, I'm going to have one cc of the oxycholic acid. And we have 2 cc of fat here. Put the oxycholic acid to see how it works in real world. And I will put it um, in this water absorbing towel to see how it goes. So you can see after the lipolysis, the fat cells become smaller and it's very uniform liquefied. So we can imagine how it works in our body. So let's check out the other groups. Now we have one cc of phospholipids. Because it contains vitamin B2 and vitamin E as the inactive ingredients of this lipolysis agent, so it's actually yellow in color. Again, we have 2 cc of fat. Then we have the phospholipid. And we see how it goes. So we can still tell the intact structures of the fat cells right here. Not really like the true lipolysis action here in the deoxycholic acid group. Then we have carnitine. Again, we have two cc of fat here. Put it on the towel. The carnitine is actually an ingredient um, which helps the long fatty acid, long chain fatty acid, to be transferred into the mit mitochondria. So it's not really the lipolysis effect, so you can still have this intact fat cells. Then we have the mixture of um, phospholipid and carnitine, which is a very popular treatment in Taiwan. So we have it mixed. Again, we have 2 cc of fat here. And we have this mixture to see how it goes.
again after the water is absorbed, you can still tell the fat cells is not really changed. Finally, we have the normal selling to see it as a comparison group. So if you take a look very closely, you can only see here, the fat cells become very small and liquefied. But in other group, fat cells are still intact. So that's the difference as the in vitro study.